8th of September, 1944, the 39th day of the Warsaw Uprising. And I have in my hand a book that was lent to me by my father-in-law, it's about the Odvet Battalion. And if you remember Bogdan Dembinski, we've talked about his stories where he served in that unit. And this book is written by Janusz Kozłowski. And the story that my father-in-law highlighted from this book made my blood run cold. This happened to Janusz on this day, 74 years ago, on the 8th of September in 1944. And I'm gonna read this in the first person as, as Janusz writes it. So he's walking along the street, he sees the bodies of people that had been blown up by artillery rounds and the bellowing cow, the Nebelwerfer uh, rockets as they come flying in. And he's not even able to tell if they're male or female because they've been completely blown to smithereens. And then he sees a young girl Uh, a young girl is crying out loud somewhere near the bookstore and I touch her on the shoulders. She raises uh, her face, which is covered in smoke and dirt, and she had these beautiful blue eyes. They were large and they were covered in tears and her chest is heaving from her crying. She's looked at me uh, scared. I'm scared, she said quietly, and I must have looked disgusting. I was in a ripped uniform, I was dirty, my helmet was, was some random color. Uh, I was unshaved, I looked filthy. The girl stands and cries. Uh, I asked her, where's your mother? I don't know, she said. And your father, your brother, sister? I don't know. Where do you live? What street? I don't remember. How did you get here? Again, the artillery rounds come flying in and again they take cover uh, to duck from them in a doorway. Fortunately, this time, the explosions are far away. How did you get here? I repeat. Uh, a man brought me here. And where's the man? He fell asleep. What do you mean he, he fell asleep? We were walking and then suddenly a plane came and something exploded and the man fell asleep. Afterwards, some people took him to a house and they said that he was going to sleep for a long, long time. So I, I went along looking for my mum. And then again, she started to cry. So I, I cuddled her. Will you come with me? I asked her. And she said, yes. What's your name? Lucia. And do you know your surname? No. And how old are you, Lucia? I'm five years old. Ah, oh, you're already a big girl. And now, Lucia, look out for yourself because we have to go along this street. And on the other side of the street, there are German soldiers and you know what that means, don't you? Oh yes, she said. Suddenly there's an explosion and then another civilian who's close by to them is hit. He stands up, says a few words to them, collapses and dies. So they hide there. And again, they're hit by rocket fire coming in and again they duck into a doorway and Lucia grabs Janusz, uh, holds him by, by his chest and just won't let go to the point where he has to say to her, look, you're, you're practically strangling me. And he says, don't worry, I'll get you to safety. Finally, the artillery rounds stop flying in and Janusz carries Lucia in his arms. Then she walks for a bit. Is there much further to go, she says. Just a little while. As they come onto Lvovska Street, which has taken them about an hour and a half, even though it's such a short distance, um, he says to her, come, come with me. We're very close. I'm gonna get you somewhere where you're safe. As they're walking along and Lucia's holding his hand, she suddenly slips and falls. Janusz hadn't heard the shot but he sees suddenly a dark stain on the five-year-old girl's dress. He grabs her, picks her up, and runs to a first aid point. But the doctor can't do anything. The blood starts flowing from her mouth and she dies in front of Janusz. I took off my helmet and the sweat mixed with my tears.
Thank you very much for watching this episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage, where we tell the story of thousands of young children like Lucia, caught up in a cataclysmic orgy of violence from which there was no escape. In tomorrow's episode, you'll find out what Janusz did to the sniper that killed Lucia beside him. Please tune in for that episode at 5 p.m. Warsaw time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and share this film so that other people get to hear about this anonymous girl whose name we'll never know and whose family probably never found out what happened to her. Thank you.